Okay, good morning and welcome to Daily 3D Revolve. Today I'm going to be doing a Design Spark mechanical tutorial and I'm going to be showing you guys how to create this original waffle ball. I had done one yesterday that has holes, a series of holes throughout the waffle ball. Uh, the original one had these eight elongated uh, circles, so we're going to go ahead and create this. All right, so what we want to do first is go ahead and open up Design Spark. I'm going to be creating this in millimeters. All right, um, now we're going to go ahead and go to File, create a new design. I'm going to come down there, and now we're going to come over here to uh, Plan View, or V on the keyboard. Now we're going to draw a circle. So I want this to be three inches, so in order to do that, drag out your circle and just type three, and then IN. It's going to convert it to uh, inches. Then I'll Control minus, and now we're going to get the offset. We want to click there. We want to offset that uh, 3.5 thickness of the waffle ball. I think the waffle ball is 3.5. Let me double check on that. Give me a second here. I think I might have thrown it out, but we're, we'll go with 3.5. Okay, now we're going to get the line tool. Go from there, top midpoint down to the bottom midpoint. Now we're going to get our trim away or T on the keyboard. I'm going to just cut these. Okay, now we're going to go to pull. Spin that a little bit. We're going to go select this face here, go to the revolve. Click the uh, Y, and then do a full pull over here. Okay, now we have this uh, shell here. Now we're going to go ahead and put a uh, plane on here. So to do that, just click the plane icon. And then we're going to click that uh, Z, or the blue down there. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and move that. So click on the Move tool, grab that dark blue, and just kind of pull this out. We'll just do 45 if you're following along. You can type in 45 there. Now we're going to click there. Go to plan view. Select the plan view. Now we're going to draw on the plan view with a line. I'm going to put a line out here just for my reference. Midway. Go ahead and go put that line in there. Now we're going to go ahead and um, we're going to draw a circle from the bottom. We'll just come up to about there. We'll do a 10 millimeter circle right like that. And now we're going to go ahead and go to the move. We'll select the circle with the control key held down, grab the red, and we're going to move that up 14. So type in 14. Select and click off. Now we're going to grab this uh, tool here, the tangent line tool. We're going to go from Tangent of that circle to tangent of that circle, and then same on the right side. Okay, now we're going to get trim away or T on the keyboard. I'm going to get rid of those. And we can get rid of this line here too. Now we're going to go ahead and spin that. And now we're going to do a pull. I'll actually back up one step there. Select that. We're, we need to project this. So come over here to project, project it onto the sphere. Now I'm going to get rid of this, and we're going to get rid of that. Okay, so now what I want to do is cut this. So we're going to pull, and then we want to do a no merge. And then we're just going to drag this in. Okay, so now we have this piece here. It was supposed to do a no merge, but it didn't. Uh, so what we're going to have to do is just select this piece here, and then we're going to have to go to move. We're going to drag this center point down to the middle there. We're going to create pattern. And we're going to grab the green. OK, so we're going to spin that around and put a count of 8. OK. 
and then we'll click select to click off and then we'll go ahead and spin this so this is our wiffle ball um, should be one, two. okay sorry about that that's a loud uh, motorcycle just drove by okay uh, what I'm going to do here is go ahead and add a little uh, fillet here and then we'll do like uh, just do 0 0.5 so we'll type in that so it's not so uh, abrasive now we'll go ahead and go to view oh, sorry metric actually I want to spin this around so we can see the the wiffle ball part okay so that's gonna um, be the wiffle ball so now we're gonna colorize this or we're gonna render it so we'll go ahead and save this as the design spark file we'll just call this uh, wiffle ball original <clears throat> okay we'll do that to the desktop select save now we're gonna do a file save as and we're going to change the save as type down to SDL. And then we'll do this original wiffle ball. Wiffle ball original, hit save. Now we can go ahead and minimize that. Now we'll just go ahead and drag this down to Rhino. I've been using Rhino even though my uh, uh, trial has run out. It still lets you use the program. Uh, and it has a pretty generous uh, trial period. I think it's, uh, it's quite long, like six months. I want to say so we'll run without saving we'll double click on perspective do a control a which selects everything and then i'm going to add some plastic to this so we'll go click on the plus and come down to plastic i'm going to go ahead and get the color here we'll do uh, orange and then um there's some uh, uh slider bars here on uh, re reflectivity transparency and clarity so you can adjust those to see if it how you like it so we'll go ahead and click on this render up here we're going to change the color there the background color to a dark gray and then we're going to go view down to ray trace and then we're going to click on that ball we got to go back to our materials and then just right mouse click on the orange assigned object and now we're going to spin this. So this is going to be our wiffle ball. I think we could probably spin it so it's that little shadow is hiding. We'll go to there like this. And we could just let it render out. And if you want to go a little bit darker, you could go to black. Actually, a lot darker. Go to the render window. Click on the color and just hit black. See what it looks like. Yeah, I like black. Flex looks pretty good. So I'm just going to let that render out. I don't know if I want it orange. I think green might be a good color. So let's go here. Let's add a, another color import from library. Actually, no, I don't want to import it. Let's just go new color, plastic, and then the color type. We'll do like a, uh, a dark green. Click the select the sphere right mouse click assign that looks good i like that better so we'll go ahead and keep that green so you want to let the ray trace cycles goes uh render out it goes to a thousand but you could probably take a screen capture right around halfway and if you want to add uh sunlight to it you can click back on the rendering tab come down to sun and then click the sun there and then you'll just have to rotate it again I think that spot's always going to be on it. We get two spots there. Two spots for the price of one. All right. I don't know if I like the light on. Let's turn it off again. Yeah, we're going to keep it off. We'll let that go to a few hundred, and then I'll take a screen capture. All right, I think that's good there. That looks all right. So we'll do a, a window symbol shift plus S at the same time as S is the Sam. And then we'll just drag a copy out or a marquee around that. 
come over here to the programs, come up to search, and then scroll down to, for paint. If it's not in there, just go ahead and type in paint. It will write, we'll control V, which is a uh, paste, we'll crop it. And then we're going to come up here to file and do a save as, save it as a JPEG. And then just call it untitled JPEG, it's fine. And then we'll, yes, we'll replace it. And then we'll close everything out. All right, that's going to end our tutorial today on how to create an original Wiffle Ball in DesignSpark Mechanical. Okay, hopefully you enjoy watching and you got some useful tips out of the video. And as always, thanks for watching.